on September 9th in the Daily, um, I talked about this mission, this spiral mission, and told you I'd be making a mission called something like Spiral Grid. Well, it's called Spiral Grid. But I have an idea here I want to work out, but rather than build a new project, I want to show it to you. Actually, I want to show it to you in the quick tips. So I want to make something called um, a blend tool because I want to show you how the blend tool works. But if I switch over to Illustrator, I've got a template open and I have uh, something drawn, a little circle drawn. And if you look up here, when it's selected with the selection tool, it's 20 by 20 pixels. That's the size of it. And this is important. It's got this registration point right in the center. Now, why is that important? I'll get to that. But the rest of these numbers, not so much. 20 by 20 pixels. I want to make something that's 400 pixels tall and I want a big circle here and then down at the bottom, I'm option drag this out, come straight down. And then I don't want this to be 20 by 20 pixels. I want this to be something like two tab two. You know, this is locked, so they, they changed. If this were unlocked, it wouldn't have changed. But I'm working with circles, so I want it locked. So now I got a little circle down here and a big circle up here. And I want to select these two and you notice you can barely see that little one. If I zoom in a little bit, you're going to say, ah, oh, there it is. Man, that's tiny, Scotch. Are you sure you want it that tiny? Um, I'm no longer sure I want it that tiny. So I'm going to select it and let's say five and hit tab. So now it's five by five. Now I can see it a little better. Now, between these two, I want this to be 400 pixels high. So I go in the transform panel. Okay. So, what's the height? Right now it's four, well, you can see, it goes out to the 10,000th of a pixel, which is crazy. So, I want this to be 400, which as soon as I hit tab, you know, it changes and it's now 400, but this is no longer, if I deselect, this is no longer a 20 pixel uh, circle. It's a crazy number, okay? But that's okay. Illustrator's great at crazy numbers. And what I want to do is I want to blend a series of circles that get bigger and bigger and bigger. So the next circle down is smaller than this one, and the next circle up is bigger than this one, but it smoothly moves from one size to the other. And yeah, 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 this works with color too. You can have this one be red and this one be blue, and the same thing's going to happen. How do you do this? Look, I set this up specifically because I want to work on that spiral project. But for us, object, and of course I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read any of this. Uh, down here is blend and then make. Now, if you just click make, it's going to do something random and you're not going to know. It's just going to be luck of the draw. Let's open up blend options. What do we want to do? I don't want smooth color. I want specific steps. And you see, we also have specific distance. So when I'm doing this, I pull out a piece of paper and a pencil and I start doing some math. But I watch how kids work and you guys like to guess. Okay. So I don't know. I haven't even thought this through. I'll say 13. Okay, so I get 15 total because 13, the steps are going to be in between. So now if I click OK, and then I go up to Object, Blend, Make, it's going to use my Blend Option settings in order to create something that might or might not be close to what I'm looking for. Eh, it's OK. And I can make that work. I'm going to use this in the next video to show you how the rotate tool works because the rotate tool is really, really cool.